We begin with breaking news. A Queen Anne's County Sheriff's deputy is shot in the line of duty and is recovering this noon after undergoing surgery at shock trauma. The shooting happened early this morning at a home in Chestertown on the eastern shore when police say a man opened fire on the deputy. WJZ is live outside shock trauma where state police and doctors gave an update just a short time ago. Mike Shu has the very latest for us. Mike. Good afternoon, Mary. Good afternoon, everyone. The deputy who was hit with a shotgun blast is recovering here after early morning surgery at shock trauma. The sheriff is saying that 32 year old first class deputy Scott Hogan was wearing body armor when he was hit with the shotgun blast, but those pellets struck below the edge of his vest. The sheriff's office in Queen Anne's County served a protective order on 52 year old James Rich at his home in July of last year and have had no further conduct. Police say Officer Hogan was sent to that home late last night concerning a domestic dispute with his girlfriend. She was taken outside, but when the deputy escorted her back inside to get some clothes, they say Rich shot once with a shotgun, then shot at the deputy who returned fire and hit him. Deputy Hogan is flown here to shock trauma to undergo overnight surgery. James Rich dies at a local hospital. This is the sheriff, Gary Hoffman. I actually saw him, but a lot of our guys have been up there. We were there when he first woke up out of surgery. Um, he looks like he's in good spirits as best as he can be for the traumatic event that occurred. The chief of surgery here, Dr. Thomas Kalea, says the deputy will have months of operations and rehab. You see a gunshot wound and the entrance wound is like that. You see a shotgun blast and the entrance wound is like that. So with a shotgun wound, infection is always a concern, and the officer has been on the force for four years. He was wearing a body camera. The investigation is being taken care of by the Maryland State Police homicide detectives, and because of that, it's an active investigation, and that video will not be released until later. Baltimore Commissioner Davis was down here to visit with the sheriff and with the deputy's family, as well as Mayor Pugh. Also, Baltimore City police officers are are uh, manning the area and making sure that the family and any deputies who come up here uh, have uh, food and snacks and know the way around town and they're offering just to sort of escorts uh, during this difficult time. I'm Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News reporting live at Shock Trauma. Mary, back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. Deputy Hogan remains in critical condition.